every single day is just like beating me down harder and harder. So what kind of emoji is that? A Pikachu emoji. <laughs> I ended up going with the sleepy emoji because I felt like that best represented my teaching life right now. Good morning, it is a rainy Monday, which makes me not very excited to go to school, I'm not gonna lie, but I have decided that this week I'm gonna leave by 4.30 every day. No matter what, I don't wanna stay later than 4.30, and some of the days I wanna leave at 3.45 because, I don't know, I just feel like anything that doesn't get done at school, I can do it at home, and if I don't, I can do it the next day, like it's not a big deal, and you know that I am tired, and it's the end of the year when even I am saying that, because I'm usually the one that always wants to work, and I always want to get stuff done, and this week, like, I just want to go home early. I want to sit on the couch. I want to watch Netflix. I want to relax because I deserve it. I've worked hard all year, and that means that now at the end, if I want to slack a little bit, I can. Now, I'm going to go probably grab coffee. I'm going to get to school, and then I have a huge Amazon box sitting next to me that I'm going to show you guys what is inside. All right, so let's go through this box, and before I do, let me just say that I'm kind of justifying all of these purchases because I need to start saving boxes for when I'm moving, and I get boxes when I order from Amazon. So <laughs> first thing that is in here, um, this is my lunch, so I don't need to show you that, but... I have paint, and this was from Michaels. It's just like regular acrylic paint. We are gonna use these to paint on our field day t-shirts. We are gonna be the second grade emojis, so my students are gonna paint emojis on their t-shirts. I ordered yellow paint from Amazon, and the bad thing is it's not gonna be there until tonight, so I had to go out to Michaels and get some as backup, and I'm glad I did because it did not come over the weekend, and it's not coming till tonight. So, next thing is, some little treats that I made. So today for our ABC countdown is K, which is kindness day. So I'm gonna to talk to my students about random acts of kindness. We're gonna read a book and we're gonna watch some videos. And then I made these little treats that we are going to pass out to the staff members. And it just says, this is a random act of kindness because you deserve to take five. And I actually made these tags last year when we did kindness day. And all I did was update some of the fonts, print them out, staple on the Take 5 bars. If you guys are interested in those, I can definitely put them in my store for you. But I have 28 of those. So I have one for each of my students to pass out and then a couple of extras. Then I have more paint. So where's the rest of them? There we go. So I have three other things of paint. These ones did come from Amazon. So these are like dimensional fabric paint. So I have black. That way they can do eyes and like the mouth red in case they want to do like the heart eyes or add a tongue or anything like that i have no idea if this is focusing because i don't have my glasses on i can't see the viewfinder um i also have white so that way they can add some teeth or they can add in the eyes next thing that i have are these lego base plates now i have added these to my amazon store this has a pack of 24 six inch by six inch base plates so base plates are basically what you put down to build the legos on and the reason i got these is because we do have sorry i got distracted i looked my cats like chewed a hole in this over the weekend of course i have lego kits up there i don't think yeah you can kind of see them but i have lego kits up there i have math kits and reading kits and they only come with like two base plates per kit which is ridiculous to me so i got this as an extra set of base plates and these were i want to say 35 dollars which isn't bad because these are like an off-brand these are strictly bricks brand which like i said i put these in my amazon store for you guys but regular lego base plates are like super expensive and i actually love that this had all kinds of different colors the reason i got these randomly in the middle of may is because tomorrow is l which is lego and lollipops day i have no idea what we are doing yet for legos originally i was going to do a whole costume transformation for legos however due to my students behavior i just decided not to do that sorry if you think i'm a horrible teacher for that but i just decided not to however we will do do some activities with Legos so I got the base plates and then I also got this huge pack of Legos so these are wonder bricks and this was a thousand pieces and I love that they come in all kinds of different colors and shapes and it even includes like roof pieces 
These were $30 and I've added these to my Amazon store for you guys as well. Again, so, so, so much cheaper than regular, regular Lego brand. And guys, these look exactly like Legos, just without the logo on them. And I read all of the reviews and every single review gave it five stars. So I got these. I put them in my Amazon store if you guys are interested. I have some Legos that I got from Target. They're just like neon colored like Legos, but I wanted like actual like Lego Legos and I wanted a bunch of different shapes and sizes. That way if we use them for some kind of a math activity, I just have more options. And then the last thing that I got, um, I'll go ahead and open this up. These are going to be my end of the year gifts for my students and let me just say that in the years past I've always done like a lot more for my kids. I get them like a sand bucket, I fill it with bubbles, I fill it with an end of the year DVD and I'm just not doing all of that this year. I've kind of thought about it and I'm like who started this tradition of teachers getting presents for their kids at the end of the year? Like to me if you've been a good teacher all the year the whole if you <laughs> to me if you have been a good teacher the entire year and you put in money for activities that they've done and experiments you don't need to go out and spend a ton of money on them at the end of the year as a gift. It just doesn't quite make sense to me. So I went the cheap route this year. Feel free to judge me. But I decided to go with these neon sunglasses. So I think there's like green, yellow, an orangish color, and pink. And this was a 24 pack. So there's 12 in this box and then 12 in this box. And they were $15.99. So they're less than a dollar a piece. It's probably closer to like 75 cents a piece. And I haven't decided what the tag is gonna say yet, but I'm just gonna attach a little tag. And I figured this is something they can actually use in the summer. And I just kept it simple and I, I kind of feel guilty but not really because I don't know it just this year it's just been a rough group and I know that probably means I should do more for them but at the same time it's like I I feel like I've given them enough so that's what I got I'm gonna go put all this stuff away and then I will catch up with you guys later on okay so I thought I was done but apparently I wasn't I also got a thank you card for our junior achievement volunteer and it's just like a dr. Seuss card and then I also got some more paint brushes I have some of like the cheapy cheap paint brushes up in my cabinet but they're like super tiny so I wanted ones that were just a little bit bigger that way it was easier for them to paint on their shirts so these were 12 packs and I got two of them each pack was like ten dollars which is kind of expensive but honestly it was like the cheapest I could find for like actual paintbrushes. my hope is that these will last a long time I'm gonna tell my students to be super careful with them I also had time this morning to go ahead and print out all of my unit 9 exit tickets for everyday mathematics I'm gonna go ahead and clip those together and put them in my filing cabinet lunch and I'm sure if you have watched any of my vlogs in the past two weeks you already know what I'm gonna say. It has been a very rough morning and it literally started the second some of them walked through the door and I was just floored by some of the disrespect that I got this morning like first thing like they come in I say good morning I had one kid who it was my friend that I've had for the past couple weeks he just immediately like grumbles at me and won't even say anything and I said sweetheart you need to go get a late slip I've already done attendance and he starts yelling that he doesn't need one and all that he finally leaves he comes back and brings it to me and throws it on the floor at my feet rather than giving it to me um, I had one of my girls where as soon as I started talking she sits there and rolls her eyes at me knuckles decided to kick someone and then when asked to apologize he says I'm not apologizing because I'm not sorry about it and he continued to name call and then I had all of my friends signing the car card for our junior achievement volunteer and knuckles was the last one to do it and he proceeded to cross out a bunch of the names and i was just floored i could not believe that he did that i don't have a whole lot of positive things to say right now um it's hurtful it's really hurtful and especially when today is kindness day and i sat there and told them and i don't know i'm i'm gonna go eat my lunch because i'm just not feeling very nice right now and I need to just go distract myself, relax, get myself together for the afternoon because if it is anything like the morning, pray for me. 
So what is that? A Pikachu emoji. Oh, of course. <laughs> yes. It will wash off skin. It will wash off skin, but not clothes. Good job, guys. Hey, by the way, I am not trading a Pikachu emoji. Yep, just go find someone who needs help. So here is the current state of my classroom, and this is actually after cleaning up for the first like 15 minutes of my special time. So we spent about a half an hour this afternoon painting the yellow circles for our emojis on the t-shirts. Thankfully, I did go with the bigger thing of yellow paint because I kind of underestimated how much paint it would actually take. I might have to go out tonight and get some more because I still have a couple students that have to paint theirs tomorrow because they did not bring the shirts in today. These are bins I got out of my closet because I was looking for extra shirts. You can see my iPads are just kind of scattered everywhere. I was able to go around and clean off all of the tables and I'm just leaving their shirts out to dry overnight. They each have a piece of poster board in them that way it doesn't soak through to the underside. I did have a really sweet student of mine stay back for the first part of media so that he could wash all of my paintbrushes, so I really appreciate that. I need to clean up all of the soap, however. <sighs> um, tables weren't too, too bad. I mean, I do have paint like all over the floor, mostly back here by the sink, but it could have been a lot worse in hindsight. Like, I think they did a pretty good job. I have leftover poster board, and I'm gonna use some of that tomorrow, so I think I'm just gonna leave it out. I got more Panda Box, so I need to cut those up. I'm not very happy about this. My friend from the past two weeks like crumpled up my line order list and I am none too thrilled. Um, I do have extra paintbrushes and then I had these two extra random acts of kindness things that we still have to pass out. So I think I'm just gonna hold on to them and have some students run them at dismissal. I did wanna share this with you guys because it totally made my day. I have a set of twins in my class and they invited me to their birthday party in June. And of course I said, yes, I will be there in a heartbeat. And so the little girl brought me today this like menu from what they're gonna have at their birthday birthday party. So cute. is I did get graded papers put into Tuesday folders during dismissal. I had a couple students help me. So my mailboxes are all cleared out. I did not put the actual papers in there yet because I know more are probably going to be delivered tomorrow and I didn't want to waste my time. I did also print out my field trip reminder slip. This is part of my field trip pack on TPT. If you are interested, I will link it for you down in the description box. And you guys can tell I was too lazy to even go in and like edit it on the computer and then print it. I just printed off the ones where you can go ahead and write it in. I wrote in the place, the times, and then a couple of notes for them to remember. But I feel good that that is at least somewhat out of the way. Tomorrow I will just have to stuff the papers in there at some point, and I'm hoping I can get some students to help me with that. Okay, it is four o'clock. My students are gone. My room is ready to go. I'm about to get out of here. Quickly before I do that, I wanted to just kind of reflect on the day, but I don't want to go into detail because obviously it was another rough day and I'm sure you guys are watching my vlogs at this point and you're so sick of hearing that and you're so sick of like hearing me not complain, but just like rant about it. But honestly, at this point, I feel like every single day is just like beating me down harder and harder. And I'm doing my best to not take it personally and I'm doing my best to remember that there's only 16 days left and I'm doing my best to still just like keep a smile on my face and you know deal with it the best that I can and that's all that I can do but I will say it's just it's very exhausting and some of the attitudes that I dealt with literally first thing this morning just started the day off with such a negative attitude and I'm trying my best to like find the reason because I know that there is a reason behind the behavior and my friend from the past two weeks who came in super moody this morning. He was yelling at me because I had to send him to the office to get a late slip because he was late and he was already marked absent and he throws it at my feet and all that. After he calmed down a little bit during junior achievement, I pulled him aside and I asked him, I said, what's bothering you? Because there has to be something, like it's not normal to come in and feel that angry first thing. So he told me that it's because when he comes in late, he doesn't get breakfast. And I completely understand that. And he said he was hungry. So I just told him, I said, you know, in the future when that happens, let me know because I could have grabbed him breakfast. He didn't tell me that until it was almost lunchtime. And 
I said, in the future, you know, here's what you do instead. And we talked about it and I gave him um, some pretzels that I had for my lunch. And I know that there's people that have been telling me, well, if you're pulling him aside and giving him alone time to talk to him, that you're rewarding him for his behavior. Or in this case, if I'm giving him pretzels, I'm rewarding him for his behavior. At the end of the day, if I have a kid telling me that they're hungry because they didn't eat breakfast at home, I don't care, I'm giving them food if I have it and I'm able to. Like, I'm sorry, but I'm never gonna not give my kid food because it's rewarding their behavior. Like, I just have mixed feelings on it. In a way, I can understand how that can be rewarding the behavior, but at the same time, I'm like, they're seven, eight-year-old kids. They're hungry, they're not coming from the best home life, they feel like no one cares about them. Ugh, I have to be there for them, and I don't know. I'm just gonna leave it at that because there's different opinions and that's fine. If you don't agree, that's fine. I'm just in a crappy mood. If you guys wanna know, I'm ready to go home and I'm ready to sit and watch Netflix and eat food because I'm really hungry. And I'm ready just to go home, get what I need to get done, and then relax and take the rest of the night for myself. And I don't feel bad about that. Maybe that's what my teacher three is gonna be for this week, just like leaving every single day by 4.30 because I feel like I need it. And I feel like literally every single day I'm that much more tired and I'm that much more like just worn down, honestly, from dealing with all the behavior and I need this <laughs> for me, for my sanity. So I'm gonna leave. I will catch up with you guys tomorrow morning. Keep your fingers crossed for me that it is a better day. Good morning. I have to tell you guys, leaving yesterday at four o'clock was the best decision ever. And I'm definitely gonna continue that for the rest of the week because usually when I leave that early, I will run a bunch of errands on the way home. So I don't end up getting home until like six or seven o'clock. And then it feels just like if I had stayed at school. But yesterday I left, I got Subway on the way home so I wouldn't have to go back out for food. Came home, sat on the couch, ate, and then I was just super productive and I loved it. There was a Grey's Anatomy like marathon playing on Lifetime so I watched that. I was able to get my end of the year gifts done. I will show those to you when I get to school. I was able to get stuff for our field day banner done and I got my planning done and I just feel really, really good. So definitely going to do that the rest of the week and maybe the rest of the school year. There are going to be days where I'm going to have to stay late. So I'm going to have to start like packing stuff up. But as much as I can, I am going to leave early because it felt so good. But I'm going to go get coffee right now because yesterday, I know I said I was going to go get coffee, but then I was running kind of late and I didn't. I had nothing yesterday in the morning. And maybe that's why I was so grumpy, like along with my kids. I just had no patience and it's probably because I had no caffeine. So I'm going to go fix that and I'm going to go get some coffee. Oh, so like I mentioned earlier, I was able to get my end of the year gifts done last night for my students. So these are the sunglasses that I showed you yesterday from Amazon, 24 pack for $15.99. And then I just made up this little note to go with them. Your future is so bright, you need to wear shades. Have a great summer, Miss Frey. And I literally just used tape to tape them on the back on the earpieces. So all of those are done, which is a good feeling. I did have one extra pair of sunglasses since I only have 23 students and I'm gonna throw those into my treasure box. I also printed out these emoji faces. So we have to make a banner for field day. So I'm just gonna let the kids pick an emoji face, decorate it, write their name on it, and then they will cut it out and glue it onto our banner. And then these are all the letters. It just spells out Miss Frey's emojis. And I probably could have used my Cricut for this, um, but I literally just printed them out on colored paper from my printer. And then I just cut them out while I was watching TV because to me, that's really relaxing. It's just a cat. Good job, Knuckles. Thank you. So what kind of emoji is that? A Pikachu emoji. <laughs> I don't even have to tell you guys because you already know how my morning has gone. It has been rough again. And it was okay until indoor recess because it's raining outside. And my students who owed time for yesterday from their behavior just it got so much worse and I had them as spread out as possible but they're literally refusing to sit in their seat they're moving around chairs and throwing chairs on the floor and I'm making phone calls I'm sending emails and it's like literally what else am I supposed to do because if I send students out it's literally going to be like five students that I send to the office and they're not given consequences so I'm just over it because I just spent 20 minutes of my lunch trying to document everything and I'm hungry, I'm tired, and I'm honestly just 
I'm so done dealing with this. Like, I'm trying to be as positive as possible, but it's literally the same thing every single day. And I don't have the time or the energy to continue dealing with it. And nothing is changing. And now I have parents that are upset about, like, the behaviors, like my good kids' parents, because of everything that they're experiencing. And then they're emailing administration, and then administration's like, well, what can we do to help you? And it's like, you know, I'm sending students to you. I'm documenting everything. What else am I supposed to do? And I just feel like I'm literally fighting a losing battle. But I still have the afternoon, so I'm going to go try to eat as much as my lunch as I can in the next five minutes. And then I will catch up with you guys this afternoon. What is that, Knuckles? A house. A house. Okay, my students are now in PE. Overall, the afternoon has been better. I had to basically be a drill sergeant picking them up for lunch. Super, super strict with them. We had to practice walking in the hallway because my line was not a second grade line whatsoever. Practice came in, they were a lot better. Still had some issues, but it was overall better. Um, desk isn't too bad. I have coffee left from this morning. I've confiscated fidget spinners. I have this toffee that one of my students from last year brought me. She used to bring it to me all the time last year, and I was so happy because she brought me some this morning, and I desperately need that with the week that I'm having. This is a party invitation, random notes and stuff the kids have given me throughout the day. Um, this is a shirt that one of my students painted yesterday, but he wasn't here today to finish it, so he's going to have to try to finish that tomorrow before the field trip. Knuckles stayed back from PE to help me fill the Tuesday folders, the last little bit that I had to go in there, and then passed them out to their seats. You can see there's random lollipops sitting out because I gave them lollipops right before PE, and those that didn't finish had to leave them at their seats. Then we have shirts that are out drying. We finished them earlier. Overall, I think they did a really good job. Like, look at this one, it's the little cat emoji. Will I do this again in the future? Probably not, because it was very stressful with all of the paint. It was super, super messy, but I do think they turned out cute. So in the end, it was worth it. This under here is our field day poster. Let me try to fan it out for you guys. Ugh. Okay, so basically I just taped our name up at the top, Miss Frey's emojis, and then they each got to pick an emoji face to color, and then I just taped those on as well. I used to put so much effort into this, and then I realized we literally only use this at the beginning of field day for them to like announce the teams, and then that's it. So there's no point in like putting a ton of effort and time into it. So now with the last part of my planning, I've got quite a few things to grade. I have vocabulary quizzes that we took, I have language quizzes that we took, and then I have comprehension checks. When I talked to you guys, when my students were in PE, I said that behavior had improved. Then I picked them up from PE, and it was literally awful again. And it's honestly amazing how quickly your emotions can just go up and down. Because this morning, when behavior was really bad, I was literally just so frustrated. And then when their behavior improved, I was literally so happy. And then it decreased again and I was super frustrated and it's literally a roller coaster of emotions and it's exhausting but my students all left while I was waiting for some of my students buses to get called I finished my grading after everyone left I entered it into the grade book and then I made phone calls and I made four different phone calls some of them I talked to the parents some of them I left messages but thankfully the ones I did leave messages for called me right back so I was able to actually talk to all of the parents and I am super grateful that they were all supportive. They all knew exactly what I was talking about because they had seen similar behavior at home and they were very supportive, which is fantastic. So we will see if behavior improves. I then had to spend some time documenting it all in my grade book so that I can have evidence of who I called, who I left messages for, and all of that. Then <laughs> I had to grade the makeup math exams that were done today, and I had to bubble in their answers because I had to scan all of them because they were due to be scanned today. 
So that is done. My grading is all done. I do need to update my student data binder with the results of the math, ex math assessments that they took, but I'm not doing that right now because it is 420 and I am sticking to it that I'm leaving by 430 every single day this week. So currently I am still feeling frustrated, but I feel a little bit better after like contacting the parents. I'm hoping that it gets better because um, I literally don't know what else to do <laughs> besides like individual behavior plans, but I have been doing those. I guess like a more strict one or somehow changing it, but I'm running out of options. Tomorrow is a field trip, so I need to go home and get my bag ready. Good thing is we don't have chaperones. Actually, that's not a good thing. It's kind of not fun at all not having chaperones, but it also makes it easier on me to get everything ready because I don't have to make the individual chaperone bags. So it's gonna be easier to prep for my field trip tonight than normal. I'm gonna go home, pack my bag. I'm going to the gym right now when I leave from here, and then I plan on relaxing because I did enjoy having time last night to relax. Tomorrow morning I have PLC, so I have to get up extra early, so I will see you guys then. Good morning, it is a field trip day. And we all know as teachers that field trips are so much more exhausting than just regular days in the classroom. Plus we have no chaperones, so that should be interesting. We're going to Assateague, which is a state park slash like beach. It's about a half an hour away from us. And we just have like rotations, like we're doing different activities that are gonna be led by like the ranger people. So it shouldn't be too, too bad. We're just gonna stick together as a class. I am leaving super early. It's not even seven o'clock yet because I have to go and get lunch because I had nothing to pack for my lunch. So I'm gonna just run to Royal Farms and pick some stuff up for lunch. And then I have my PLC meeting this morning. So I'm gonna go grab my caffeine, grab my lunch, and then I will catch up with you at school. So the yellow paint that I needed for my field day shirts finally arrived at my apartment, but it's actually okay because I have one extra shirt for a student who did not bring theirs in. So I'm gonna try to get them to paint it like this morning and this afternoon after we get back from the field trip. Okay, I have to go up to my PLC meeting and I'm gonna try to film as much as I can today with the field trip, but obviously not having chaperones, I'm going to be very busy. So I apologize in advance if there's not a lot of footage, but I will catch back up with you guys when I get back. Oh, Wait, what? Why are you doing it? Are we doing it? Just about. It's horses. Over. I just saw two horses. Yeah, that's exactly right. In the woods. This is a box turtle shell. A box turtle likes to live in the woods. You stole a plug. Oh, you mean this is so nice? Walk around the building and see if you can open that back door Ooh. and we'll let him out. I'm going to the bird is yeah. Oh, wait, wait, never mind. He, he picked it out. Thank you. So we are officially back from the field trip and I have to say I'm so happy that I left my desk nice and clean that way I didn't have to worry about it when I came back. Over here I have stuff for field day tomorrow. So on the right are packets of work for my students who have lost field day events both from behavior in the classroom, behavior in specials, behavior at lunch, etc. So there are packets with their names on them and then the post-it note is the list of names with how many events they owe. And then on the left I have all the stacks of paper that I need to take with me. So like our schedule, the map, of where the field day events are located along with some extra packets in case any of my friends decide to misbehave while we are outside. I did pass back all of their shirts with the exception of friends who weren't here so they will have to put theirs on in the morning and then here is our banner that we will take outside with us for the opening ceremonies. Okay so now let's actually talk about the field trip. First of all I am happy that everyone made it home safely in one piece and I made it home without pulling out all of my hair. I consider that a success. However, as you can imagine, it was a rough day. 
First of all, there were no chaperones. Now, I did have two parents who followed me in the bus and they met us there at Assateague. However, they left after like the first rotation. So it was rough having just me with my 20 kids. And of course I have kids that are needing to go to the bathroom and it's on like the opposite side of the park and it was just rough. Plus, of course, I had students who were misbehaving and it's even harder when you're on a field trip because you literally have no other resources. So I whipped out my cell phone and I called multiple parents. Uh, some of them talked to the kids, some of them I couldn't get a hold of. But in the end, I mean, it all worked out. Like I said, everyone was safe. I think some of them enjoyed it. Maybe not the ones who got in trouble, but most of them enjoyed it. It was very cold and windy and we were outside the whole time. So that was a little bit miserable. Like at lunch, our lunch stuff was just getting blown everywhere. Like we were sitting at picnic tables. <laughs> and at one point I picked up my bag and it just became like a parachute and my trash went everywhere. So it was a hot mess. I enjoyed it. It was very like informative and the little like events that they kind of visited and the programs were neat. Now I am back in my classroom. We got home around home. Yeah, because this is my home. We got back to school around 2.50, got back in the classroom. We had to quickly pack up, use the bathroom, and then dismissal started. And I didn't have my students for dismissal today because it was a PLC day. So my students went across the hall. I was able to quickly get my room all ready for tomorrow, just kind of laying out the banner, getting packets ready and all that. And now it's about 3.45 and I'm getting out of here because I'm very, very tired. I'm gonna go home, relax, because tomorrow is gonna be very tiring as well. Field day is always super, super exhausting and it's supposed to rain. So most likely field day is going to be inside and there's a lot of like time gaps that we have to fill on our own. So we're gonna be doing a lot of go noodle. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here so I will catch up with you guys in the morning. Good morning, it is field day and it is raining. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna be inside, which is a huge bummer, but I'm leaving early again. It's around 7.10. I need to go swing by the grocery store that's by my school to get a bag of lettuce because all the teachers are contributing for a salad bar for us to have for lunch. So I need to go grab that. I also need to go grab coffee because I am very, very, very tired this morning. I don't know why, because I actually went to bed pretty early. I got in bed before midnight. I also decorated my shirt last night, so I will show that to you guys once I get to school. Driven by Jim's Berlin, Chevrolet, and Holly Kia. Okay, it is 7.45 and I just got to school. I was just informed that field day is still on for outside, which should be very interesting because it rained like two inches last night, plus everything was already wet from the day before because it rained and everything is completely soaked. So I'm just gonna smile and get through it. I'm pretty sure my kids are gonna be miserable because my kids, I found out yesterday at the beach, they don't like sand, they don't like to get wet. Like they're just like not outdoorsy people. So it should be interesting. But I did wanna show you guys my shirt. Now normally I would decorate my shirt the same way my kids decorated it. So if they painted it, I would paint it. However, for whatever reason this year, I just completely forgot to bring in my own shirt to decorate. And I didn't remember until last night. And at that point, I didn't have enough time for the paint to dry. I kind of debated about doing a vinyl or doing an iron-on transfer. And I have never really done an iron-on transfer before. So I decided to go ahead and try it. So I went to Hobby Lobby. I got the shirt for about $2.79, I think it was. It was on sale. And then I got the pack of iron-on transfers. There were 10 of them. They were $10, but I had a 40% off coupon. So I got 10 of them for $5.99, which wasn't bad at all. I will say, like, because I had never done them before, I didn't realize how easy it is. I mean, you literally take the image and I just put the clip art in PowerPoint and you mirror image it because you want it to be backwards so that when you iron it on, it is going the right way. Print it out with your regular inkjet printer onto the transfer sheet, cut out around the edge, put it on the shirt and iron it. However, <laughs> my iron, when I put it at the highest heat setting, it has a steamer and I can't turn it off and steam and humidity and iron on transfers do not go well together at all. So I ended up going with the sleepy emoji because I felt like that best represented my teaching life right now. But you will notice there are some parts around the edges that did not transfer and that's because of the humidity. But at first I was really kind of upset about it because I was like, man, like I just wasted the shirt and all that. And at the end of the day, I'm gonna wear the shirt one time. So I don't think it really matters, but Overall, I definitely wanna do iron-on transfers more in the future for things like this. I didn't realize how easy it was, so now that I have a little bit of experience with it, I will definitely continue to do them. Only one at a time, go! I 
see you hold hoop. It is the end of the day. All of my students have been dismissed. I don't have very long to sit here and talk because I need to go home and shower. It's about 3.45 and I have dinner at five o'clock for my boyfriend's graduation. So overall, could have been worse. It wasn't great. It wasn't even good. It was pretty bad, but it could have been worse. I did have several students who had to get sent out on several different occasions to come inside and do work, but it is over with. <laughs> Another day down. Tomorrow is our movie incentive. So my students who have had good behavior are going to watch movies all day. And then students who have not, I'm actually gonna have all of the students who have not earned the incentive from all of the second grade classes and the other three teachers are gonna show movies. So I have to figure out something for them to do and I don't really know how many kids it's gonna be. So I might kind of figure it out in the morning. I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna have a whole lot of time tonight to get stuff done, but it's okay. It will all work out. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here and then I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. Good morning, it is finally Friday, and in spirit of Friday, obviously last night when I got home, I had to take a shower and I put makeup on and everything for my boyfriend's dinner. And since it's a Friday, I decided to do nothing with my hair. I didn't re-shower, I didn't even change my makeup. I just used whatever I had on from yesterday. So today I have all of the students who did not earn the movie incentive. And I'll be completely honest, at this point, I'm not even sure exactly what I'm gonna do with them all day. I think I'm gonna have them do rotations. One of them will be like the laptops and the iPads. One of them is going to be a math like coloring sheet. One of them is probably gonna be Legos. <laughs> and I don't know what the other one's gonna be. I might have the last rotation just be like helping me because my goal today, and this is what I'm doing for my classroom this week for the teacher three, is to go through my closet and start to clean stuff out, start to get rid of stuff, start to pack stuff up. So I'm gonna try to get some students to help me. We'll see how cooperative they are. But for right now, I'm gonna go get a huge coffee because I slept in as late as possible this morning. I was super, super tired. It's like 7.30. I'm gonna go get a big coffee and then I will catch up with you at school. So these are the pop art math coloring pages that I mentioned this morning. I got these off of TPT and I will link them for you down in the description box. But I really like these because they actually look pretty cool when they are all done and colored. So I just printed out three different subtraction ones and basically they just use the key and color it so that way the students do have a choice of which one they do. So this is the closet that I mentioned that I'm going to try to clean out today. I have all of these containers so everything is pretty organized but I need to just go through and like like purge stuff because I feel like I have a ton of stuff and then there's this whole side too which not all of it is mine like these are all stuff that belongs to my district but I do have a lot of stuff pretty much everything on this shelf is mine um, and I've got some stuff down there at the bottom too so I'm just gonna try to go through this today and get rid of as much stuff as possible and just try to condense it so also something I have to get done today is this math inventory which I just filled out one of these like two or three months ago, it was sent by our math coach and I filled it out and put it in our mailbox, but we have to do another one for the end of the year because this is like the everyday mathematics one. So this is how my students are gonna help me today. The students that I have in my room, they're gonna help me count all of this stuff to fill out the inventory. All right, it is the end of my lunchtime. I had some students in here for lunch bunch, so I don't have very long. But the morning actually went pretty smoothly. I had about 25 kids who were not going to watch the movies. So I split them into four groups. One group played on the computers and iPads. One group played Legos. <laughs> one group did the math coloring sheets. And the last group helped me with stuff. So I was able to get almost all my math manipulatives like all packed up. So after school, once it's all done, I will show you what that all looks like now. Good news is for the afternoon, one of my team teachers is going to take the students who are not watching the movie and I'm going to be showing a movie. I'm going to show The Incredibles. So hopefully while they are watching, I will get some more stuff done. So I just took all the kids that were in my room watching the movie to music and I have like 35 kids because a bunch of them wanted to watch The Incredibles and you should have seen, we actually have a substitute today for music, you should have seen the size of his eyes. They were as big as dinner plates when he saw how many kids I had with me. But 
but let me show you what I've been up to. So right now I am going through my cabinet that has like a lot of my supplies and you can see when I have extra stuff like pencils that won't fit in the bins up there, I've just been putting them on the side. So I've been cleaning out this side and lo and behold, I actually found two whole boxes of glue sticks. I thought I was out of glue sticks with the exception of like these really big ones and I found two whole boxes. So that's really good. I'm gonna go ahead and put those in there and store them away. These are the math kits that we have for everyday mathematics. We ended up having two kits. It's kind of a long story, but our district messed up with the ordering. So I'm gonna start working on packing some of the stuff back up in here. I also have cleaned out my math manipulative cabinet. So you'll notice everything is just in big like gallon Ziploc baggies. So I have worked on taking them out of my containers and stacking my containers up because obviously I'm gonna take those with me, but the math manipulative stay here. I am almost done with my inventory. I had a bunch of kids help me count stuff this morning. This is all stuff that is mine. I need to go through and kind of organize it. I have more empty bins back here. These are all things that need to go into those math kits from Everyday Mathematics, and I'm working on going through this bin too. This is gonna hold stuff that obviously is gonna stay here at the school, so I'm just trying to sort and take stuff that is mine out and put stuff in that's gonna stay at the school. Oh, and I've also worked on going through these black bins. So these are all dice that belong to me. These are all decks of cards and like containers that belong to me. And then these three bins are empty. So I don't really want to stack them up yet because I want it to still look like nice, but I at least want them to be nice and organized. So at the very end of the year, I know what is mine, what isn't mine, and I can very easily pack it all away. It is now after school, all my students have been dismissed, so I thought I'd give you a quick room update. Obviously, I have no grading to do because we just watched movies. Ketchup and pickles we didn't get to, but it's okay because I don't have a lot in there anyway. My desk is pretty clean. These are extra Sharpies and dry erase markers that don't fit in my cabinet right now. My math inventory is done and I have emailed it. However, the back of my room is a hot mess and I'm literally just gonna leave it like this. And I can't believe I'm saying that because that is so against like who I am as a person, but I am just gonna have a mess like until the end of the school year. It's just the way it's gotta be. I have a lot of packing to do, a lot of organizing. It's just gonna be a mess and I need to be okay with it. Back here, I have a whole bunch of extra plastic bags. This is some holiday stuff, which I'm gonna put in a black bin like this so it is all together. Um, let's see up here. I have a whole bunch of bins that I have emptied out and they're just gonna have to sit like in a corner somewhere until it's time to actually pack everything up because I don't have anywhere to put them. These black bins have stuff that belongs to me that obviously I'm taking with me. So this one is all math. So I have things like different games that I've like cut out. I have dice. I have like sticks that I've written like math facts on that are in here. Um, dry erase boards. I have just like random tape measures and dominoes and all that kind of stuff. So this is all math stuff that belongs to me. And then this one is all reading stuff that belongs to me. So this has things like read aloud books on tape. I have close reading toolkits. I have magnetic letters, stamps. So my word work supplies is all in here. And I obviously have more to add to these bins. Like this is by no means everything, but it is at least a start. Up here, I have more holiday stuff that I need to pack away. These are all empty bins, more empty pins. Back counter just has a hot mess of stuff. It's mostly like binders that I need to go through and clean out, page protectors, posters, some more bins that are empty, and some books that I had. It was actually in one of these bins. They're not in my library right now because I don't have enough like categories to fit them all, so I just had them in a bin. And so I'm pulling them out because when I pack up, all of my books are gonna go in the same place. Now, as hot of a mess as that all is, let me show you what progress I have made. So, I had kind of already showed you this. I did clean out stuff that was on the sides and then some stuff that was up here. So it's just a little bit more organized. I still don't have room for the pencils, but that's okay. Did not get to this cabinet. This has all my arts and crafts stuff and I just didn't even bother with that. This is completely ready to go for the new teacher. So it just has all of my math manipulatives that belong to the school. They are organized and bagged up. So I don't need to touch this at the end of the year. In fact, I might go ahead and like lock it now so that it's done. This is also done. This is more math manipulative things that belong to the school. They are bagged up, they're organized, they are ready to go. 
this cubby had my containers of base 10 blocks and those are all packed up in a way and they are stacked back there on that cabinet. So this cabinet is, or not cabinet, this cubby is completely ready to go. Obviously I'm not touching book bins until the end of the year, but this container has dice and I didn't want to pack away all of my dice because I'm sure I will use them between now and the end of the school year. So I just kept out this bag of like foam dice and then this container of dice and dice. Empty, 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 empty. Now up here, these are their science journals. They're gonna take those home with them at the end of the year. These are all books that I use for lit circles and book clubs and things like that. So those will get packed up with the rest of my books. And then these are their um, bass folders. So I will move those to the next grade level at the end of the year. Let's see, what else did I do? This container, or this, um, not container, oh my goodness, cabinet. <laughs> this is paper that belongs to me. These are envelopes that belong to me. And then those containers had paper that belonged to my school and I pulled those out. I'll show you where I put them in a second. Um, I started to go through this cabinet, but up there, all those folders and composition books and spiral notebooks, those all belong to me. And I'm not gonna even worry about taking them out of the containers. I'm just gonna move them in the containers. These all have like cardstock and different paper that all belongs to me. So I'm just gonna leave that for now as well. And I think, yeah, this cabinet is completely empty, which is good. Cause I can use that to store more stuff that belongs to the school. And then this cabinet, everything in here belongs to the school. So up here I have just like different phonics readers, vocabulary readers, math games, things like that. That is all construction paper that belongs to a school that I have not used and other paper that belongs to a school that I haven't used. Um, some different books and things and then more base 10 blocks and math materials. So all of this belongs to a school. This cabinet, I'm just gonna keep it closed. I've got a little bit more room in there, but not much. However, it is just nice knowing that that cabinet is basically all done. So I do have a big mess, but at the same time, I feel like I made a lot of progress. Also, over here, I've cleaned out this. This is where I keep like guided reading materials. Um, all of the drawers have been cleaned out and are completely empty. So <sighs> now that I can kind of take a step back, it is a mess, but I do feel like I made a lot of progress today and that makes me very, very happy. So I'm just gonna leave this and I'm gonna go ahead and start my three day weekend. It is four o'clock and like I said, I'm ready to go home and start my three day weekend. I did wanna quickly clue you guys in on some events that took place. On the way back from lunch, I was bringing my class back to the classroom so then I could split them up for the afternoon movie. My friend that I've had from the past couple of weeks decided to choke another student in line, so he got an instant referral and he will be in ISS on Tuesday. Obviously, we're off Monday for Memorial Day. When we come back on Tuesday, he will be in ISS. So I need to get some work together for him, which I have packets ready to go for that, but obviously he went to ISS not that long ago, so he has already done the packet. So I need to find another one for him. I will do that over the weekend though. I'm not gonna worry about doing it right now. I did wanna talk a little bit about why I chose to clean up my room today because I do still have 12 days left of school. And I know some of you may be thinking like, wow, that's really early to pack up your room, but some of you might start packing up even sooner than that. So I wanted to talk a little bit just about my reasoning. In years past, I have waited until like the second to last day of school to start packing everything up. And the reason why is because I feel like when your room is all put together and everything is bright and colorful and organized and labeled, it just creates a certain kind of like magic for your kids. And part of me really hates to like show them the empty classroom just because I feel like it's kind of depressing. Uh, at least it is to me. So I've always waited until like the very last minute to pack up. And obviously I got it all done, but I will say it's very stressful when you kind of push it all to the back to the last minute. So that is why I'm starting to pack up earlier this year. Obviously I am moving classrooms and if I wait till the last minute, I'm gonna be so sorry that I did that. Plus when I have opportunities like today where I basically have the entire day to work in my room without really teaching, I need to take full advantage of that because there aren't many of those days. And as the end of the school year comes closer, there are more and more responsibilities and just things that you have to do and it all starts to pile up. I thought this was the perfect segue into the video I'm gonna be filming this weekend all about the end of the school year. That video is gonna be focused on organizational tips for the end of the school year just to make it easier for you guys. 
Plus, I am going to be releasing a packet with all kinds of end of the school year materials that you guys can use, different checklists and things like that. So if you have not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss that video. It will be going live on Sunday morning at 7. If you liked this video and you found it helpful or you sympathize with me for behavior or whatever your reason, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. That helps it to be able to reach more teachers. I appreciate you guys for watching. As always, I love you all so much. Thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of this video and for supporting my YouTube channel. If you want to check out any of my older videos, you can use the two links right down here. If you want to subscribe to me so you don't miss any future videos, you can use the link right up here. In the description box, you will find links to all of my social media sites, my Teachers Pay Teacher store, and my Amazon store, and I will catch you guys in the next one.